What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to timestamp cells. So whether you're trading stocks and you have uh, some kind of day trading uh, tracker or a portfolio tracker and you're logging your entries and exits, whatever it might be, um, this could be very useful. Maybe you're not doing stocks at all and you have a whole leads list and you want to know when you enter uh, emails or client names, whatever it might be. There's a million reasons why you need to timestamp your cells. There's really not, not that many good videos out there. Uh, so I thought, let me put a video out there because I found a very simple way to do it. And just to show you, so here we go. We have some past stocks that I put in. Here's their current price. Uh, and here's all of the timestamp cells. So when I enter a new ticker, not only will I get the price of the current stock, which is irrelevant for this video right now, but the important part is then it'll timestamp it with a date. So let's say I buy some TD, right? So I do that, hit enter. There we go, the price is updated. And more importantly, we got our date updated. So there's the timestamp right there. So then we go from TD and uh, let's say I buy a bunch of financials. We do some JP Morgan. Again, the timestamp is there as well. So this can be a great way to keep track of what stocks you're trading each day and you can look back. Or again, if you are generating leads and you wanna know when was the last time I spoke to this person or last time I sent an email out to this client, whatever it might be, there's a million reasons why you'd want to timestamp sales. And again, it's not easy to find it on YouTube but I'm gonna show you what I did. But before that, smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. I dive into a lot of stock market videos, stock market tutorials, and uh, Google Sheet tutorials, uh, really concentrated around the stock market and creating cool portfolio trackers. But let's dive right in. Let's open up a new sheet, okay? So we have our date cell, we have uh, for this, our stock, again, it could be leads or emails, client names, whatever, data. Um, and then we have price right here. So let's just, uh, we'll make this a different color. Dark uh, blue like that. We'll make the, whoops, we'll make the text white. Bold that, we'll center it. What do we have here? Okay, so date is the important part. So we will set that up with yellow and the rest of this will be a light blue. So again, right now we could go in and we could add stocks and it's not gonna do anything, right? Because there's nothing done with the cells. The price, we could just throw in some Google Finance. Um, pulling from that price we all know that that's nice and simple that's easy right but how do we get a date so we're not manually entering it or here's a easy trick if you actually hit control semicolon it will timestamp it for you but there's got to be a better way and there is it's a little code it's really not that hard it is an if statement so what we're going to do is we're going to hit equals and then you're going to hit you're going to type in ifs okay so that returns value depending on multiple logical expressions open parentheses if b2 okay so that's the cell we're dealing with equals open quotation close quotation so what's that saying is if b2 is blank then we want this cell to be blank that's what that means right there um but now we're going to say a2 so a2 which is the cell we're in right now equals blank comma now so we want now then we open parentheses and close parentheses comma true so if that is true comma a2 then we want it to be in a2 we want the date to come into a2 so again just to explain what this code is saying right now if b2 if cell 2 is blank then we want it to stay blank so if that statement is true then it stays blank this is if it's false if b2 is not blank then we want a2 to equal now 
which is the time. I want it to be true for A2. And you're going to hit enter. It's going to work on my, it's not going to work on my end. Um, but it's definitely not going to work on your end for a very important reason. I just need to make sure I have this code right. It looks like I do. Oh, I missed one thing. I missed a comma right there. So add that comma. We hit enter. There, that should work. So we plug in Apple. It works. Now, you're probably doing it on your screen, and it's not working, and you're probably confused right now. And that's because this is an iteration problem, or in coding language, I believe it's called a loop problem. And we need to fix that within the settings. So what I mean by that is we need to go to File. You need to go down to Spreadsheets. You need to go over to Calculations. And right here, you have Iterations Off. So let me save. You have Ref right now. So it can't calculate it because it's trying to calculate itself. It just doesn't work. So if we go to spreadsheets, you go to calculations, you need to turn iterations on and your maximum number right now is probably 50. We don't want that, we want one. Change that to one, hit save. And then if you already have a cell in there, it's gonna pop back to 1999 for whatever, 1899 for whatever reason. Just delete that, plug it in and then it should work. So there you go, if we take this and we drag it down, anytime I plug in, we got Apple, I plug in you know, a different one, doesn't matter, square. Here, I'll drag this down so the whole chart will actually work. Uh, we could add, how about PayPal, Johnson & Johnson, Coca-Cola, all of these timestamps are now going into place. Procter & Gamble, Home Depot, uh, Lowe's, Facebook. There we go, everything plugs in. And then you can even go a step further if we highlight all of this. And if it's not working for you still, could be this, could go to just change to date. You may have to do that. But we could even go to time and we could change the time so you could see here's the timestamps, the actual timestamps during the day. I'm recording this at 10 o'clock at night because I have nothing else better to do with my life. We could do time and date so you could see what day and what time was each thing entered. So here we go. Let's uh, let's delete all of these. And if we start entering them again, so we'll start with um, about Microsoft, Ford, Tesla, um, I don't know, plug, Etsy, how about some Adobe, and all of these are coordinating. And it, it, it's military time. I don't know if there's a way to change it so it's not military time. Well, I guess that. That would change it to not, and then you won't get the date. But you, you get it. I mean, it's a pretty simple formula. Again, I don't know why it was so hard to find on the internet, but I was able to figure it out. And now it's up on YouTube. And hopefully enough of you guys like this video and put comments on it and watch it to the end. So the algorithm increases and more people could find this and this problem could finally be solved for everyone. But that is it. If you like this video, guys, again, hit subscribe. If you haven't already, smash that like button. As always, I'll see you guys in the next one.